what is up everyone this is somnath gowder from future coders in this video tutorial we are going to be building this responsive feature section using html and css and also you are we are going to be using in this video grid system guys in the previous videos we have also built pricing section feature section testimonial section and all of those i built using flexbox but this one i am going to be building using grid and also it's going to be completely responsive let me show you it let's hit on inspect so this is how it's gonna look in the last screens observe guys if i start to reduce the screen size as you can see now it's going to appear in column by default uh, when the screen is large it's going to appear in row wise and if i reduce the screen size as you can see it's completely responsive and it looks good in all of those screen sizes so guys this is what we are going to learn in this video so before we start building this please make sure you subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to leave a like on this video so let's start building this <laughs> Okay, inside our index.html, I have already generated the boilerplate for HTML and also I have linked my local CSS file. So here inside the body, let's start building it. We will have a section with an ID of features. Inside this, I will define a container. This container is going to contain a div with a class name of features top. This is the top section of our features. Here I will define an h1, amazing features and right after the h1 we are going to have a paragraph tag with some lorem, let's say lorem with uh, let's say 23 words, okay that's it for our paragraph tag. And that's it for our top section. And here we are going to have a container for containing all of the all of those features. Here I will say do with the class name of features container. And inside this features container, we are going to define each and individual feature item. Here I will make a separate container for feature item. And inside this uh, single feature item, uh, as I have shown in the final version, that each feature item was actually having an icon, right? So these icons are actually coming from the Google font icons. Let's head over there. As you can see, uh, Google fonts actually provides this library of icons which we can import and use in our project. Let's head over to developer guide and here we have to find the import code that's going to be this one link tag. Let's copy these and paste it right below our local CSS file. Okay, that's, let's close this and now we can we have access to all of these icons. Make sure you are actually clicking uh, selected the field version of these. These are the icons which we are going to be using okay now inside this feature item as i said we are going to have an icon right the first icon which i will be using is i will show you how to import the first icon okay the icon is with okay this one settings icon let's click on this and there they will provide the import code for that let's copy this okay now let's paste this okay now we have this gear icon okay and i also made a mistake over here responsive okay that's it okay okay right after the icon i'm going to have another container for feature item this is going to contain the information about the feature first it's going to say h4 with powerful dashboard and a paragraph with 
lorem 16 that's it and that's it for each and individual feature item now like this we are going to have five of these right uh, one in three in each row right so here i will copy this and paste it one more time the second one the icon is going to be changed it's not going to be construction hey, sorry it's going to be construction not settings okay there we have our construction icon and the h4 is going to say user friendly okay let's copy this one more time and paste it over here and for the third one the icon is going to be notifications and h4 smart notifications that's it and let's copy this one more time okay three more times actually i am doing it each each individual okay uh, this icon is going to say this icon is going to be the savings icon there we have our icon piggy bank h4 cost control let's copy this again and for the icon touch underscore app h4 unique features okay let's copy this last time one last time and for the last one the icon is going to be help center and h4 support 24 by 7 that's it that's it for the html part so this is how it's gonna look without css so now it's time for adding the magic of css and i'll be using the custom font from the google fonts let's head over to google fonts the font is going to be railway not okay railway this one okay i will be using 100 extra light 200 light 300 okay it's okay light 300 regular 400 medium 500 mm, semi ball 600 i'm not sure i'll be using this but let's make sure we get all of these so that i don't have to come uh, over here again looking for the fonts okay finally okay that's it let's copy the import code over here this one and paste it over here let's close this okay now let's start with our cleanup process by selecting everything margin 0 padding to 0 and box sizing to border box and transition of all 0.2 seconds is in okay uh, let's also set the font family which we have imported railway and the fallback font of sans serif that's it now let's target uh, the whole section features this one whole section background color to f a f b f c grayish color and padding of 5 rm to the top and bottom and 0 to left and right now let's target the container class which i have defined over here and for the container the width is going to be 100 percent 
and max width which i will be using is 1100 pixels i only i'm only going to use the 1100 pixels of the whole screen so here i will say margin zero and auto to make the container center align okay and as you can see we are actually having we are actually having no space over here so actually i need to target this div and this whole div that's going to be features top and features container to add some space so here let's target features top as well as features container and here i will set the padding of 0 and 1.5 rm to the left and right there we have some space applied so i want the text of the feature stop to center line here i will target that i will just say text align to center okay now let's target the h1 that is inside the feature stop let's do that h1 and here i will set the font size of 2 rem and margin bottom of 0.5 rem let's save and check okay line height of okay not least style line height of 1.2 and let's also change the color of 071e55 bluish color okay and we also have this paragraph tag which inside the feature stop let's also target that and for that i'm going to change the color to grayish okay font size of 1.1 rem line height 2 rem margin to the bottom of 1 rm and let's also add some padding 0 and 5 rm to the left and right and finally a font weight of 300 ok that's it now let's target a features container which is containing all of these features right now it's time to use our grid observe guys i will be writing only two lines of display grid so observe guys what happens here first i will activate the grid system by saying display of grid of course nothing happens when i say display of grid but here i will say grid template columns i need to define here how many columns i want over here i will say 1fr 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 as you can see now i have three columns guys so what are what are these 1fr 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 stands for one fraction so here one fraction of the screen is actually being applied over here and this one fraction is going to be applied over here and this one fraction is going to be this one so the these fraction three fractions are actually being applied to the screen okay based on the screen size okay okay that's it that's how i use grid system to make them to make them columns okay now i need to work on these each and individual feature item so here i will target that feature item let's add the padding of one rm margin margin to the top of two rm and text align to center okay that's it and uh, we are actually having this icon right which is inside the span let's target that span font size is going to be defined by rm to make it big margin to the bottom of 0.5 rm and let's also change the color to bluish that's going to be 108 d4 okay, that's it and we also have an h4 inside the feature item info let's target that 
inside the feature item info let's target the h4 let's increase the font size to 1.3 rem i am also going to change the color to this one margin to the bottom 0.5 rem okay that's it and we also have this paragraph inside the feature item info let's target that and for the paragraph i will say font size of 1.05 rem and the color to this gray line height to 2 rem and finally a font weight of 300 that's it and that's it for the features section let's uh, make this big as you can see we are done with the feature section and the only thing now left is making it responsive as you can see this is not actually responsive right so to make it responsive i need to add some media queries here i will say add media max width of 768 pixels so this is going to be applied when the screen size is below 768 pixels and as you can see here i am actually i don't when the screen size is smaller i don't want this space around here okay inside the feature stop right okay here i will feature stop if i show you okay here i have added a padding right so i need to clear that out inside the feature stop inside the paragraph let's make the padding to zero okay there we have our padding removed right now the main thing guys this one features container i have set the grid template columns to define i have divided it to three fractions right now i will target that and i will say grid template columns to only one fr okay okay let's okay now as you can see each of the item is actually using one fraction one fraction here refers to the entire one fraction of the screen here i have not defined another fraction right if i say one fr over here as you can see now we have two columns so i don't want that i want the whole item to make use of the fraction that is left okay so it's gonna make use of the whole fraction guys okay now there we have our three now we have two one okay that's how we can use grid to make our resp layout responsive guys let's make this big let's test for our responsiveness if i reduce the screen size as you can see now it's responsive so guys that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys learned something from this video if you want more videos like these where i build these small sections and teach you how to make these responsive so please make sure to hit the like button and that's it for this video and i will see you in the next one thank you for watching mm -hmm.